everybody, this is Praxis, and I'm probably going to be calling the work out here pretty soon because it's starting to rain. It's supposed to just pick up more and more as the day goes on. But I want to show you the progress that I've got so far. Uh, yesterday, I remember I was uh, putting this stone in place right here, and I've continued the wall around a little bit. I found this raspberry bush uh, over when I was pulling up some, uh, some dirt and stuff, so I decided to kind of plant that in this area. That would be a nice spot to have raspberries. I was thinking about doing... Uh, garlic. This is a big bag of garlic that is uh, ready to be planted. I got it from some from a friend who was working at a farm that was uh, you know, kind of peeling garlic. And uh, I was thinking this would be a great place to do a garlic bed, except then it occurred to me that if this is the air intake for the house and everything, um, big garlic beds smell like garlic. So I was thinking, you know, maybe that's not the best place to put a garlic bed. So um, raspberries anyway, they're related to roses, so maybe it'll just make the whole house smell like roses. Anyway, uh, work is progressing pretty well. The back wall of the root cellar runs roughly right along this line right here. So you can see I'm kind of coming around and I'm almost there. I mean, I'm a little bit ahead on this side than I am over here. But it's going pretty well and uh, you can see I'm filling in with the, the logs over here and uh, just trying to get as much stuff in. Uh, I go into the woods, whatever I can pull out, whether it's logs or this or that or whatever. I'm putting it in there. Again, I think I mentioned in an earlier video, wood is not as good as dirt. Dirt is not as good as rock. But, uh, you know, it's better than nothing. So just adding more stuff is good. And actually, uh, wood can be pretty uh, good as a shield, especially when it gets moist. Because uh, when the wood absorbs water, uh, if you think about it, you, a, a, a giant wet log is a lot heavier to lift up than a dried out one. And all that extra water atoms in there, water isn't, uh, isn't a bad blocker of radiation as well. So whatever I can get in here, and presuming all the, the sticks and uh, logs I put in there are going to, you know, probably stay pretty moist down there, I think it's going to be a pretty good uh, added, uh, you know, extra kind of shielding on top of everything. And the wood is also going to act as a good um, a material for the plants growing on top. It's also going to act as more insulation to keep the root cellar cool uh, during the, the summertime. So, uh, you know, it's all good. Whatever I can put in there, I'm putting in there. I've even, like, some pieces of old scrap metal and stuff like that, I got it all in there. So, uh, I think I'm just about finishing up here. I don't want to work when it's too, too pouring. I've got other kind of indoor projects that I can work on uh, as well. And that's what I, one thing I like to kind of do is have some projects that are outside, some projects that are inside projects, all going kind of in tandem with each other. So, if it starts raining outside and you can't work outside, you can always jump in and have something to do. That's it. Thanks for watching.